Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here, and welcome to episode 20 of the Minecraft 1.16 Survival Let's Play. It's insane to think that we are already on episode 20 because we have already accomplished so much in this world and it's starting to look really good. In the last episode, I showed you guys a really cool and effective new automatic cooked chicken farm design and it's starting to look really nice for me. Uh, oh, as we see right there, we're getting some more chicken uh, and it has started to work. We're getting more feathers, more cooked chicken, uh, but I'm going to keep using bread until I totally run out and it looked really nice in the last episode and what I did was I just went through, added some stone brick, cracked stone brick, mossy stone brick, a little chimney with some smoke, just to give it more of an industrial uh, kind of ruined wasteland feel, which is what this whole area is supposed to be. I still have yet to do cracked and mossy stone brick on these two builds, but like I said in the last episode, I want this entire area to be a sort of industrial wasteland area. But anyways, we're going to continue on the automatic farms today, and I'm going to show you guys an incredibly effective, efficient, and easy Enderman farm in the end. Now, a lot of Enderman farm tutorials I've seen are really complicated, really long, really annoying, and uh, yeah, I don't think anyone wants to follow that. So I'm going to show you guys a super simple design that can be customized for anyone. You can make this farm relatively small and relatively easy if you don't have a lot of materials and you're new in your world, or you can make it super large and super complicated if you want. But anyways, for the farm, before we go to the end, here is all the materials you'll need. Now, this may look like a lot of materials, but let's walk through it really fast and really check it out. The only expensive materials are the name tag, you'll need the minecart and the powered rails. This is pretty much just to get an endermite, because the way this farm works is it spawns an endermite, which endermen are attracted to, and then around the endermite, you make a giant platform, and endermen walk towards the endermite, falling into a pit where you kill them. So then, besides all these materials, you'll just need a few stacks of any type of slab, it doesn't matter, or a block that mobs can't spawn on. I'm using slabs, you can use glass, you can use leaves. I know leaves are super easy to get if you just make shears, but I'm just using slabs. Uh, and then also some glass again you don't need glass I am just using glass because I can see what I'm doing I can see where the endermen fall and it looks a little nicer and then a decent amount of uh, any type of block that you choose again I'm using stone brick it just looks nice you can use any block it doesn't matter and you definitely don't need this much I just put a lot in my shulker box in case I needed extra blocks but you can definitely have way less and you can also use slabs so say you only have a few stacks of cobblestone you can turn it into slabs and still have an amazing farm and then I also here just have some hoppers chests and torches those are optional torches I would bring definitely just to be safe but uh chests and hoppers are just just to make a little contraption for all of our drops to go into but nevertheless let's head to the end and i'll be right back with you guys all right so here we are in the end and one more material you'll actually need to make this is some ender pearls now i'm just gathering them here because we have our new looting three sword and it's going to be super overpowered and get us tons of ender pearls but say you don't have a lot of good armor or a really good sword oh okay let's take care of these two really fast i was going to show you guys a simple little design you can make to uh, protect yourself and kill lots of endermen you could honestly get tons of ender pearls literally just using your fists and hands with this method if you really wanted to but simply gather some end stone or any block around you and then just build up like this and then build a tiny little platform like this endermen can't get to you if you're under this uh, but uh, you can still hit them so this is what I do but I would say you definitely need a decent amount of ender pearls I would get maybe two stacks minimum so about 32 um, a little more if you want to be lucky the uh, the main reason you need ender pearls is because when you teleport using ender pearls there is a chance that an endermite will spawn and we need an endermite for this farm to work because when endermites spawn endermen absolutely hate them and so they will run towards them try to kill them and will take advantage of that mechanic to uh, kill the endermen so I'm gonna gather some ender pearls really fast and I'll be right back 
All right, so the first step is to take your block that uh, mobs cannot spawn on and build out three stacks away from the main island. Now, it doesn't really matter exactly how much you can really build out anywhere between one and 200 blocks. 150 is usually a pretty safe number, but uh, using three stacks just makes this really simple because you don't have to count it out. You can just get three even stacks, but if you only have like a stack in, you know, maybe 40 or 50 blocks, that also works. But what you're going to do is if you have leaves or glass, you know, just place them like normal. However, if you're using a slab, make sure you place it on the bottom part of the block like that, just to ensure that no mobs spawn. The reason we're doing this is because you don't want to be making a giant, long, skinny pathway that you could accidentally die, and then out of nowhere, an enderman spawns and kills you. But just to be extra safe, this is a good idea. I'm going to keep my elytra on, keep my fireworks on, so that if I do accidentally fall, I can easily just rock it back up and get back to my platform. But anyways, yeah, build out about three stacks. Again, it doesn't matter exactly how much, but three stacks is just a pretty safe and easy number to use. All right, so after we have our platform, if you used slabs, make sure to use your last few slabs just to build up to a uh, normal block height really fast. And I'm just going to go in here and grab some of my stone brick, or you'll, you'll obviously have uh, any random building block. And just build yourself a little platform here so you can stay safe. Just make sure you don't die. Now, if you are building it on the same level, be careful. Make sure to light it up with a torch so you don't have endermen spawning. I'm just going to build out a tiny little platform here. This is where we will come to kill the endermen and so eventually, once we're done with the farm, if you want to, uh, people often decorate this place with a lot of things. Like, you might want an enchantment table, since you'll be getting a ton of XP from this farm. A lot of chests for all the ender pearls. Maybe an anvil for more of the, uh, you know, enchantment type things. Just whatever you really want, honestly, just to decorate it. I'll decorate it and make it look fancy after this. And also, I'll make the bridge a little safer. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to do this. Be kind of careful. Make ourselves a pretty large platform, just so we can really see what we're we're doing and then right after this we're going to have a small little area where the endermen fall down onto so let me just grab this really fast and then I'm going to place this here I'm gonna mark it out with glass so let's just put our glass like right I want to get this in the middle there we go so there's this little three block area right here is where the endermen are going to fall from our platform in the sky and we will kill them I'm gonna leave the glass right here temporarily uh, but uh, we won't need it because we'll be hitting them from under but what you're gonna do is once you have your platform like this just three blocks we're going to build this up right here 43 blocks now that number is important because that's the height at which endermen will fall and have half a heart and if you hit them they will immediately die now it doesn't exactly matter you don't have to do exactly 43 if you don't have a ton of glass or a ton of building blocks you can do a little bit less you'll just have to do more damage with your sword when killing them however this is just really nice because if you have sweeping edge or just hit them with your sword slowly and it hits the enemies around they will all instantly die but again you could even build this maybe 10 or 20 blocks and still get a pretty decent farm it won't do as much damage to the enderman but it's still all right but anyways let's build this up 43 blocks here i'm not sure i'll have enough glass to uh do the entire thing but i should have enough glass to build up a decent amount all right so we've built up all the way and what i did is it's like half glass half a stone brick oh i see a few endermen i'm gonna have to light that up really fast but once you've made this just come out here and make a tiny little platform uh this is the shape i have and then i just have this little three by three platform but after we do these next few steps we are going to get tons of endermen spawning so what i want to do really fast is do my little hopper and chest setup again you don't need hoppers and chests i'm just using it to make my life easier so i'm going to be very careful here and uh use my elytra to fly oh god my elytra skill aren't very good so I have to be kind of careful here there we go we got it I'm just gonna light up this whole area make sure we don't get enderman spawning at all just kind of knock him off the edge sorry bro uh, I think this should be lit up enough I'm just gonna put torches in every corner honestly just to make sure this is definitely well lit and then you can break these last few blocks really just do it how you like and then I think what I'm gonna do is just take my chests and maybe do a little uh how should I do this I could do like three individual chests that might work. Does that look fine? I guess so. Honestly, you can do it however you want. I'm going to put them one block a little bit earlier. Just like that. 
Eh, that looks weird. I don't, I don't want the chests together. I want them separated. But let me just, uh, poop, I want to get in here really fast. I'll just do it like this. Put a hopper, put a hopper, and then I need a chest there. And I need to put this hopper into that chest. But I don't want to break the glass because I don't have any more. Uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll come back with more glass in the future and fix it. But there we go. That's just my little setup. I don't care. Looks all right. <laughs> but yeah, this will be the little area where I hit the Enderman. Uh, since I built it up, it won't quite be uh, as efficient since it's not 43 blocks. However, it's literally one block. There'll still be a one-hit kill. It doesn't matter. It's not super sensitive. But after you've done that, it's time to head back up. So uh, let's be careful. Again, I know not everyone will have an uh, elytra at this point. But uh, I would really recommend you get an elytra. If you're building this farm, you've already come to the end. You may as well just get an elytra. But next, we are going to do our little endermite setup. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we have this one block in the center of this little three by three platform. What I'm going to do is this is where the endermite is going to be. So I'm going to build a tiny little area where we can trap the endermite. So this is the block we want him to end up on. Here's just a little extra block. And what you're gonna do, take your powered rails, place them like that. You can power the powered rails, place your minecart, and now we are going to start spamming. Actually, let's get the minecart out of here. I don't want the minecart to move. I just want it to stay in place. There we go. We, Well, it's going to move regardless. You are going to start spamming your ender pearls. And be careful. Obviously, you don't want to die. But keep using them until you get an ender mine. I'm actually going to get my uh, cart out of here. But yeah, just keep using ender pearls. Oh, actually, that was pretty easy. Okay. We got them quick. And then have your name tag ready. Name him. Oh, God. No, I gotta get out of here. Okay. <laughs> you need to name him quickly, though. You don't want to die. Uh, oh, no. Can I name him in the minecart? Oh, no. I might need to get him out of the minecart and then name him. Oh, God. This isn't good. I need to be very careful here. I can't name him in the minecart. Dang it. All right. Let's just get out of here. Let's try to break the minecart without hurting him. Okay, let's also get to full health really fast. This is probably the trickiest part of this whole farm. Usually, it takes a little bit longer to get an endermite for me. Come on. Okay. <gasps> no, did I lose him? Oh, uh, oh, okay. Wait, he's still there. I think. Okay. Let's see if we can lure him into this little, little area. Come on. Hurt me. Please come towards me. Can I push him in? What can I do? Hold on. I need, I'm going to stay at full health. Just get in there. No. Oh, don't push me off. No, no, no. That's not how we're doing this. Can you just come hurt me? Go, go, come, come to the rail. Oh, why won't he come in? Oh, okay, wait. Let me block him off. Oh, yes, okay. Okay, we got him in here. This is the, such a tricky part. Oh my gosh. I don't know why this is so hard. No! Stay, st okay, let me name him really fast. There we go, we got Fred. Minecart, go in the minecart. Okay, okay, he's in the minecart. We got it. He's in the minecart. <laughs> We're making progress. We're making progress. So now I just need to unpower that, push him to that side, break this, place a block there, and there we go. That's what we need to do. Now, the reason you need the name tag, I'm sorry that took me so long to do, was because if he's not named, then he will automatically despawn. So after you have him there, you can uh, break this little thing you built up around him. Again, that's the, oh God, that's the trickiest part. Make sure when he hits you, he doesn't uh, hit you off. Just be careful. But yeah, now you can see why, uh, why Endermen hate these little guys so much. For now, I am going to keep a tiny little contraption around here because I don't want to actually accidentally hit the Endermite and then he moves to a different location. I want to keep him on that one block. So I'd recommend keeping a few blocks just to keep him in place. Uh, but uh, yeah, what's going to happen now is we're pretty much going to build up a giant platform around here. Since the platform is the only flat surface around that isn't lit up with torches, it will spawn tons of endermen, which will make it so that the endermen will come towards the endermite and eventually fall into this pit. But for right now, I'm just going to light up this area a tiny bit, just so we don't get endermen spawning on these blocks. And so now let me show you how to make this platform. All right, so next we're going to work on our little platform and finish up the farm here. So you're going to grab some trapdoors, also grab your other powered rail, because we need to change something really fast. After you have the endermite like this, you have to be really careful because you can see how the minecart is orientated kind of front to back like this, kind of north to south. But we need it to be east to west, left to right. So what you can do to simply fix that is break this block, place the rail, it'll switch the direction, and then place a block one more time 
and there we go that's what we need so i'm gonna build just really fast a few blocks out right here just so i have a little bit of a little bit of more space to work with this is where the platform is going to be i could have used different color blocks but hopefully you guys get the idea and right here is the little endermite area all right so what we're going to do is you can break this block right in front of the endermite be very careful and then break these blocks right here i need to be careful and then on either side right here place a block right there and a block right there and make sure you have your trap doors ready we're going to place one trap door another trap door and another trap door and then also on this side some more trap doors just be very careful on top of here you're gonna place some trap doors and then you can also break that block break that block and then I'm, I'm just being very slow cuz I'm being I'm trying to be very careful around here collect those I'm gonna build up one block right there and then let me go into my shulker box really fast I thought okay yeah I have my crafting table I need to make some slabs just make a few stone brick slabs quickly there we go I just need to be safe right on top of there place slabs like this just three slabs and then get your trap doors I have to be careful and I have to place the slabs one block higher oh my god <laughs> I'm trying to be so careful right now I'm sorry I'm like being quiet ah oh, there we go okay we got a trap door so the slabs one block higher trap doors like that three right there and then come out one and go like this I need to get one right behind here please don't hit me off <laughs> you're gonna have this kind of T shape and then also continue that on this side and just get right behind here and then from here you're gonna have to be super careful because I'm gonna break the torches so I don't have to get them later this is the general setup now I'm gonna grab torches really quick place them on this platform the endermen are gonna see the endermite be super excited try to come and kill it and they're going to fall to their doom now I'll die if I fall down there so I need to be careful but now what you're gonna do is you are going to build out this platform right here make sure you don't build it directly there uh, and what's kind of uh, you know iffy about this part and how you can change the amount of resources you use is you can make this really as big as you want if you just make this a simple you know little 8x8 platform you made it relatively small it'll start spawning endermen or you can make this a, a ginormous platform and it will also start spawning endermen obviously there's a limit to how big you can do it I believe if I do like 30 blocks on either side from this middle block that's kind of the limit the limit uh but i'm just going to build out a general platform here and i'll be right back with you guys all right so i'm going into spectator mode just to show you guys what i'm doing don't worry it's nothing bad but here we have this little thing oh i actually noticed i need to put one trap door right there i don't think it'll matter that much but here's the trap door setup i missed a few trap doors so make sure you have them just how i have them uh, give you a chance to look at that it's not too complicated but all I did was from this middle block right here on this platform I went out like 15 in each direction and then I went about 20 blocks back and I think that's big enough I might do a little bit bigger platform in the future but this will still spawn endermen and pretty much all you have to do is when you're far away we already have some down here the endermen will spawn and automatically go and try to kill the uh good old endermite now they're not spawning right now just because i'm in spectator mode but i'm gonna go in survival i'm gonna sit down here and let's see how many endermen we can truly get all right so i literally oh we have one enderman we need to be careful i just went in survival and we already have tons of endermen coming down here like crazy uh we know the farm works because uh yeah okay why are some spawning behind me some might be teleporting down here a quick fix for that is i could have simply used slabs or i can place some water down there i'm not sure why they're teleporting we can come up with a fix though you know it's not too complicated we can figure it out ourselves i'll just simply do some like slabs in the corner here and stuff like that and slabs will hopefully try to uh make them unmotivated and won't really want to teleport i'll just place the slabs all the way around here that should be enough honestly for now but as you can see now the reason my xp was way lower i did have 34 levels was because i actually did die i fell off the platform while making it uh but thankfully i was lucky and safe enough where i did come down onto this little platform right here except i did take enough fall damage to kill me uh so anyways that was kind of a bummer it seems like it's working really good though so i mean this farm as you see my xp is pretty low and we are already racking up the levels now if you truly want more endermen if this isn't enough for you the constant spam of endermen uh you can continue to make the platform a little bit bigger like i said i believe the max dimensions is 31 blocks in either dimension and then you have to taper off the end 
give it a kind of wing shape. Uh, but for the most part, if you just do 10 blocks, 15 blocks like I did, you should still get tons and tons of Enderman. I mean, this is literally crazy. And even though I did build the little hoppers up one block, it is still crazy. So it seems like they're wanting to teleport to me, which I've heard people talk about as an issue. And I think I do know a fix. I just remembered the fix. All you have to do is build a roof above your head since Enderman is taller than you. So I'll eventually go back to the overworld to get some blocks and come back to this area with blocks that I can use to decorate this whole land. I think it'll make it look nice. Um, but yeah, that'll hopefully be the plan. Let's just grab some of this XP. A little bit is getting stuck in the hoppers. I won't need these slabs though. I can just build a roof. But let's go to the overworld, grab some items that uh, we can use for a good old uh, roof. I should have done it with the first time I was in the overworld after I died. I actually did grab a golden apple and another name tag because I noticed that I messed up the... Uh, I grabbed some more oak trapdoors too. I noticed I messed up the trapdoors, and so I wanted to grab some more. And just in case the endermite was dead, I needed to make sure I had enough materials. But we should be okay. Anyways, though, I'm going to go grab some glass, grab some stone brick, grab some more materials, all that stuff. So that hopefully we can make ourselves a little bit of a fancy room here. And I'll be right all right, I'm back, and I brought some items just to do some general decorating. I also got some more food. But here we just have, you know, I have some lighting blocks, I have some water buckets, I brought some anvils, chests, and some stuff for another enchantment table. I also probably should have brought some lapis or stuff. I'm just going to do a general slight decorating job. If you notice, the farm looks a little bit different than the thumbnail. I'll probably do a little bit of more work off camera, like maybe decorating the bridge or whatnot. I'm not too concerned about decorating the bridge right now, though, just because, you know, I got a mending and an elytra and you know the elytra isn't even since i have mending you know getting all the xp from this is just crazy i stood at this farm a little bit longer got some more xp got back to my 34 levels and we are already doing amazing let's just get rid of this last enderman right there sorry bro but especially since we have looting like i need to i'm gonna turn this down a little bit just like look at this xp flow in like this is just from a few minutes of standing on that bridge and we already have so many endermen oh my gosh the xp i can't even get it all like these chests are already all full i don't even know what i'm gonna do with all my drops i have so much xp just flowing around me like look at this this is absolutely insane i gotta take more screenshots of all this xp coming in just because i don't believe it how insane and crazy this is this is absolutely amazing though i love it so much this farm is super overpowered uh hopefully you could get some inspiration for your own farm again i gave you guys a lot of leeway you don't have to copy my exact design but uh yeah you can obviously you, you know you have a lot of leeway you can really do what you want you can make this farm bigger i actually did also before i left i used the last of my stone brick went up there lit up the area really fast and extended the platform a tiny bit longer i just went like another two or three blocks in each direction and like two blocks back just used the last tiny bit of my stone brick uh but overall i can definitely see a slightly noticeable increase in the amount of enderman spawning and this is absolutely insane some of the endermen are dying automatically by themselves uh don't worry about that that's literally just due to entity cramming when there is literally just too many entities or mobs in one single area that minecraft literally just starts killing them off because it can't handle how many mobs are in that one single area so that's literally how overpowered this farm is minecraft mechanics literally cannot handle how overpowered it is but before i die or get knocked off i'm gonna build a little roof above my head build a little area around here and i'll be right back with you all all right so i'm back and now you can see why i brought water i pretty much just made an infinite water source up there and i used it to cover my entire build just so endermen wouldn't teleport on top of it or around it and they can't teleport on this bridge they are forced to kind of stay in that area or teleport on the platform only to come back down but i have this little water door right here just so endermen can't get in not that they would anyways since it's too small but i just have this little area put some chests Put some glowstone, put some anvils, have my little enchantment area right around here. So I think that's, uh, you know, that's pretty nice. It's whatever. We can enchant stuff. I'll eventually put a chest with lapis around here. So we're all set for enchanting. And yeah, I think this is pretty successful. As you can see, we're literally just getting so many endermen. I mean, now that I extended the platform, I think if I just stood here and had an auto clicker, 
automatically killing Enderman, which you could totally download and use one. Uh, I don't think the Enderman would ever really stop coming. I mean, even though I'm killing them as fast as I can, and I'm killing as many as I can, they just literally do not stop coming. You literally don't get a break. So, if you want Ender Pearls or XP, uh, this is definitely the farm for you. I mean, I'm just... Look, I'm just overflowing with XP. Like, this is absolutely insane. I just have to keep screenshotting it. I've never seen so much XP. And look, just after a few seconds, I literally have so much crap all around here. Like, this is just insane. I can't even keep track of all the ender pearls I have. They don't even fit in these chests anymore. These chests were kind of worthless. I honestly might just make some sort of ender pearl throwaway system because I just have too many ender pearls now. Like, it's just insane. Like, you come up here, you just see them constantly dropping. I don't even know what to do with myself. There's just way too many. Alright, I come back with more items, and I love that... Since I am mending, all my stuff with mending literally cannot be broken. But let's do a little bit of enchanting. I also want to see if I purposefully anger a few Endermen, can they even get to me over here on this Enderman farm? Like, look, let's just fly up here really fast. As you can see, if I fly above here, you can see how this works. The Endermen just kind of go right towards that Endermite. But uh, I don't want to be part of the farm today. Let's head down here really fast. The water's nice. Ooh, okay. We can just easily slide on it. Let's be careful there, though. Let's fly up here again, land correctly on the water this time. There we go, okay. We can come in. I just wanted to anger those Endermen to see. If I angered them, would they be able to come to me on this island? But it definitely, yeah, it doesn't seem like they'll be able to. Oh my gosh, there's just so many Endermen. Let's also grab... I left some stuff in this chest. Um... I don't know why I brought a chest plate to enchant. I brought one because I wasn't sure what my chest plate enchantment was, but we can do a helmet and some leggings just to see what we get because our helmet and leggings aren't that good. Uh, we get, ooh, fire protection again. I already have that. Respiration and unbreaking. Don't really need that, but I mean, I guess unbreaking and respiration would be nice. And I want fire protection on some of my armor. Uh, let's do our axe and our shovel just to see what we get. Ooh, unbreaking. And Okay. Okay, just unbreaking. I just wanted to do a few enchants. Uh, we could always... Let's do another chest plate enchant. Why not? We'll, we'll see what we get. Probably not anything good. Yeah, just protection three. But uh, I'll leave some lapis here just to have it for future use. I'll bring back all the other non-farm related stuff. Oh, lapis I'll leave here though. And uh, yeah, that's pretty insane. But uh, if you... Oh. Hello? <laughs> if you enjoyed this tutorial if you hopefully found some inspiration or made the farm yourself and it works let me know down in the comments below i really hope this video could help you guys out but anyways that's going to be all for this episode if you did enjoy it please consider leaving a like and subscribe uh this was definitely a big project for me and a very big farm uh and if it looks a little bit different in the thumbnail i probably just did some decorating but yeah that's all for this video this is jay wisp and i will see you guys all in the next one